I hope nobody believes this false prophet. <laughs> I am not a prophet. I've never claimed to be a prophet. But what you'll find in my videos is that I just give some different Bible verses and point out how they line up with Trump. And it's unfortunate that so many Christians tend to view anyone who talks about the Bible as being a prophet. Sometimes you can just read the Bible and study the Bible and learn a few things without being a prophet. I didn't know the devil has a YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that either. Uh, thanks for visiting my channel, though. I appreciate that. Trump is the Antichrist now. I guess the Democrat demonic rulers will lie, cheat, steal, and even bear false witness by calling Donald Trump the Antichrist. Actually, those of us who think Trump is or could be the Antichrist do so because he lines up exactly with how the Bible describes the Antichrist. It has nothing to do with politics, friend. He is not the Antichrist, calm down. He is not a Christian either, but stop these false prophecies. Again, these are not prophecies. My videos just reiterate how Trump lines up with how the Bible describes the Antichrist, and if you're a Christian, that should concern you very much. Go blow your horn in Venezuela, <laughs> where they're crawling out of socialism, standing in food lines 20 pounds underweight. Your research stinks, all of it. Get out of America. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of fools having a ball out of stupidity. You think you're smart, but to a real Christian, you are all dummies trying to push your stupid demonic research on real Christians. You're wrong, and if I were you, I would shut my mouth. As St. Paul would say, O oh, foolish Galatians, read about that church. You are the silliest so-called not-Christian goats, unsaved. You're making fools of yourselves. <laughs> well, it's quite a bit here. I, um, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not going to get out of America. Those of us who live here are very blessed to have the freedoms we enjoy. And one of those freedoms is talking about how Donald Trump lines up with the biblical Antichrist. This man knows not what he is speaking about. <laughs> this is typical in a lot of ways of Trump supporter comments and that they will give these generalizations just to dismiss the whole video rather than saying, well, this verse was wrong because, or have you considered this verse which points away from Trump? They'll just say, this man doesn't know what he's talking about or give some laughing emojis. It's an easy way for them to dismiss any of these things against Trump. Oh, I know it. Spoken like a true Democrat. <laughs> See, your purpose has been exposed, Em. You're running scare. Trump will become our next president. Well, actually, I'm not a Democrat. I was a lifelong Republican. I'm not into politics anymore. And I do think that Trump will become our next president. So it's not like you're arguing with me there. He is returning to power one way or the other. And it's just a matter of when. Poppycock. <laughs> now, you don't hear the word poppycock too often anymore. And I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. But I was trying to think of where it was used before, and I ran across an old video from someone who perhaps we might remember from many years back. Well, now, uh, just so we set that to rest, I want to use a phrase that my Ohio father used to use. That's just plain poppycock. We're going to stay on this job till we get the job done. And let others wallow in Watergate. We're going to do our job. So there you have Richard Nixon and his input on the word poppycock. <laughs> this is just a Trump bashing video. Everything mentioned describes Bill Gates. Actually, I don't hear much about Bill Gates in the videos anymore as being the Antichrist. There's an occasional reference like this one. But going back a few years, he would be in every third, every fourth comment. It'd be something about Bill Gates. Now it's Obama or Macron or King Charles. And no, none of my videos are meant to bash Trump. They are meant to point out how Trump lines up with the figure in the Bible that we are told will appear in the last days, the Antichrist, and he has certain characteristics, and Trump matches them exactly. Here, I'll open my mouth for you. I don't care what those around me have to say, whether they're for President Trump or against the true president of the USA. God bless Mr. President Trump in the name of Jesus Christ, the love of the universe. Bless our country, all veterans, and the true president of our United States, Mr. Trump. God bless and help all those evil ones turn away from the evil ways and take the blindfolds off the eyes of humanity placed there by the evil ones. So some of these comments, of course, do not quite ring true. They don't seem to be written by human, although they could have been. You never know. There are certainly troll farms and people who are just deluded. 
And there are many who believe that Trump is still president of the United States and is letting Biden mess things up, I guess, so he can return to power somehow. But comments like this are a prime example of the delusion that runs through so much to the right. And even if it's not written by an actual person, which I tend to think this isn't because it kind of is weirdly phrased, it does give us a microcosm of how so many on the right are thinking nowadays. So no other prophets state these things except you. Odd, don't you think? As so many project Trump as God's chosen one to help America. He's not perfect, but by your words, who is Biden or the orders? You know, the ones who help destroy America by using other power heads in government. So what is your motive? Truth or hits on YouTube? So uh, please don't put me in the same sentence with other so-called prophets. I'm not a prophet. <laughs> I never claim to be a prophet and never will claim to be a prophet. And I would also be curious as to who you think is a prophet. And it's amazing how these so-called prophets of God usually prophesize that God wants things to happen, which coincidentally is exactly what they want to happen. My motive is simply to warn other Christians that Donald Trump lines up with how the Bible describes the Antichrist. And yes, I do hope more and more people start to see these videos and the videos by other people on YouTube which talk about these same things. This is absolute nonsense, and whoever is speaking, do they dare identify themselves where they are getting all of this information? This is the deception. I don't even know where to begin on challenging. <laughs> Some of these lies that have been expressed in this video, period. Well, I, my name is Paul. I'm the one speaking. And as far as where I'm getting all this information, it's that little book on your shelf that has some dust on it. I don't know if you have seen it in recent years. <laughs> it might even say the words, Holy Bible, on the outside. Open that book up one day, preferably today, and then start checking some of the verses that I reference in my videos. And then start considering to yourself the type of man Trump is and if he actually matches how the Bible describes the Antichrist. I guess this is supposed to be a Christian site, but all I hear is criticism. Wonder what Jesus thinks. He died for us and we listen to this stuff? You definitely are not a Christian channel. This is a pretty odd comment because the criticism that you'll read is about Trump. It's not about Jesus, not about the kingdom of God. It's not about other Christians, although unfortunately there is a lot of arguing back and forth, which I wish there was less of. But it seems to be that you're conflating criticism of Trump with being not a Christian. And those things are not related at all. Best president in the last 100 years easily. God gave us someone to help lead this nation and most importantly educate the people to how deceitful the media and government actually are to the people. Well, I haven't been around 100 years so I can't say he's the best president. But I will say he's the worst president of my lifetime. However, that's neither here nor there. The problem with your comment is that the man who is supposedly educating the people to how deceitful the media and government actually are is himself incredibly deceitful. He lies about almost everything, unless, of course, it's something that makes him look good, and yet people are accepting his word as the truth. This simply boggles my mind. You can twist the scripture to make it whatever you want to believe and make it to fit your view. Read the Bible as God has written it, not you. Can pick out to make it as you want to see it. Well, that's a bit of a word salad at the end there. Uh, the verses that I pick out are not being twisted. I'm, I'm quoting specific verses in the Bible and applying them to how I believe they line up with Trump, with his actions, with his words, etc. But the idea that Bible verses are being twisted to use against Trump falls into that general category or they're just out to get Trump. I don't even want to think about this because Trump is a good man. He's a man of God. I can't accept this. I'm not even going to watch these videos. It's all being twisted. Trump had one term already. Did he act like the Antichrist? Many are saying Charles III is the Antichrist. Your arrogance is on display. <laughs> uh, yes, many are saying Charles is the Antichrist, and many are wrong about Charles being the Antichrist. In fact, he simply doesn't line up with how the Bible describes the Antichrist. You can't use family crest as an indicator of someone being the Antichrist. There have been millions of family crests down through the centuries, and a lot of them have images such as horns and dragons and lions, etc., and they do not correlate to Bible prophecy. And he also has, in case you don't know, recently been diagnosed with cancer. So he might not even be around too much longer. 
Really? This is all you have to do with your time? <laughs> this is simply your opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. You talk about being in the end time stipulates the end time. Right there, you're full BS. Find something better to do with your time and try to twist the words of the Bible to suit your own agenda. Actually, I think this is a very good use of my time to talk about how Trump lines up with the Antichrist. Hopefully, some people will have their eyes opened by God. They will begin to see that, indeed, he does look like the figure in the Bible that we're warned about. And maybe we shouldn't follow him down the road to perdition. But I will agree that some usage of my time isn't the best. Occasionally, I spend a lot of time online, and I should be out taking a walk or exercising. So, got to agree with you on that part. I believe you, brother. I know Trump is the one. But is it true? Are you a liberal Democrat? <laughs> Uh, this is a little uh, sneaky way of saying, no, I don't really believe you. I, I don't think Trump is the Antichrist and you're a liberal Democrat. Uh, no, I'm not a liberal Democrat. Kudos for the original comment there, though, G.A. Not him. You're waiting for the world leader, a man accepted by all, not just some. They will love him like no other. All the people will be deceived at the end. No, this is completely wrong. The Bible does not say that the Antichrist will be loved like no other. That's simply not in the Bible. It's probably in some of the books you've read and movies you've seen in recent years, like we all have, which talk about the Antichrist being loved, being young and handsome and powerful and brilliant and charismatic and all these things. And of course, Trump isn't those things, so people use it as a quick excuse to say, well, he can't be the Antichrist because he's not loved. He can't be the Antichrist because he's not young, etc. And none of those things are actually are based on the Bible. You lost your mind. <laughs> Barack Obama is the Antichrist. Say his name. Let me read this one again. You lost your mind. Barack Obama is the Antichrist. It say his name in the Hebrew Bible. That's not true at all. There was a myth a few years back, which is still ongoing, unfortunately, that Obama's name was mentioned in Luke. That is not true. And I'll put a link down in the description to an article you can read. That'll give you more information if you think that's still true. But no, Obama is not mentioned in the Bible. They said that Martin Luther 500 years ago was the Antichrist, and God knows how many other people since. That's true. There are, a lot of people have been identified as the Antichrist over the years and decades. But once again, we have to get back to the fact that the one person on the scene right now who does line up with the biblical descriptions for the Antichrist is Donald Trump. Those other people, if we look at it objectively, do not match how the Bible describes this figure. They simply don't. So the fact that people may have thought that Reagan was the Antichrist or anyone else from years back is irrelevant when comparing if Trump does match exactly how the Bible describes this figure. LOL, this is moronic. The man of sin is beloved by the entire world. No, he's not. Don't you understand that's why Trump is not the Antichrist? Uh, incorrect conclusion there, friend. Half the world hates him, LOL. The Antichrist isn't going to be hated until after his reveal. In fact, all of you non-believers are going to worship the man. So the very fact that Trump is as resisted and hated proves he is a normal human soul like the rest of us. So, completely wrong in every aspect of this, friend. The Bible doesn't say anything about the Antichrist being loved or hated. He's going to have some people to love him, and he's going to have a lot of people that hate him. But in the last years, the Antichrist will rule by fear and love or hate has nothing to do with it. He is feared. There are zero Bible verses about Trump, you nutjob. <laughs> uh, well, the uh, Bruce Lee fan, I, I guess that, then I'm just going to cancel my channel and, and move on. I have nothing further to add. You're right. This is such BS. Trump is all about the God, not against God. You people are sad. Trump fans with their profanity, and it's the same word that Trump himself uses in many of his speeches. They're all becoming mini-Trumps, even adopting the language he uses from the profanity down to the childish insults of others. Why do you call yourself Antichrist? <laughs> Actually, I don't call myself Antichrist. My name is Paul. The channel is named Antichrist 45, and it's named after, obviously, the 45th President of the United States. At some point, I might rename the channel to make it a little easier and get rid of that confusion, but we'll see how that develops over the next few months and years. It's not Trump for sure. Okay, well, you, you convinced me. I have nothing to... <laughs> you, you, you expounded on that point very well. Thank you. You are a heretic. 
<laughs> um, comments like these are funny and scary at the same time. Because I think it is rapidly coming to the point where those Christians who speak against Trump will be called heretics and will be accused of treason. And in my opinion, it's another indication that those who give their lives in the end days at the hands of those who think they are doing God a service will involve exactly the type of people who are following the Antichrist down the road to perdition. They will do anything to serve him even if it means accusing others of heresy, blasphemy, treason. If the stupid backward goofs in America cannot see that Trump is the best president they have ever known and can save America, then they are doomed by their own ignorance. It's always fascinating how other people in other countries will defend Trump. Kind of scary, too. He is too old. The Antichrist is coming out of the European Union. The Antichrist will be extremely handsome and young. Definitely not him. Haven't you all watched Yeoman? <laughs> Now, honestly, I didn't know whether this comment was in jest or not because of the reference to the omen. But no, the Bible doesn't say anything about the age of the Antichrist. It does talk about the Antichrist coming out of the fourth beast, which is the revived Roman Empire. And as I've covered in some other videos, America is the revived Roman Empire. It also does not in any way say that the Antichrist will be extremely handsome and young. A poll by Idiots for Idiots, GFY. <laughs> I think this comment was on the poll about Trump giving himself the nickname of Honest Don, <laughs> which is hilarious in and of itself. And as far as that GFY at the end, I, I don't really know what that means. I think it means good for you. Um, if it means something else, <laughs> you can let me know. I'm pretty sure he's saying good for you. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Scott. Donald Trump was the only president to move the American embassy to Jerusalem. God put him there just for that reason. Jesus is coming to Jerusalem, not American. This is not about American, but Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Keep pissing off Donald Trump's children with the talk, and you Democrats might just see the Antichrist. Well, there's a whole bunch of crazy in one paragraph on this one. First of all, Jesus is coming back to the world. He may arrive at a certain spot, but it's the entire world that will see him, and he will judge the entire world. It's not an American or just a Jerusalem thing. If you don't like Trump, fine, but don't weaponize the Bible and stop taking verses out of context. Remember, you will have to answer to the Lord for every word that comes out of your mouth. Well, yes, I will have to answer to the Lord, as we all will. And once again, this is not taking verses out of context. If you think there is a particular verse taken out of context, then I encourage you to write in your comment exactly what that verse is. But leaving these general statements about taking verses out of context or twisting scripture is not really anything substantial. You need to be more specific in what you say, then we can talk about it. Otherwise, you're just giving yourself an excuse to not even consider what the Bible says about this man. About damn time. <laughs> Actually, there are channels on YouTube that talk about how Trump lines up with the biblical descriptions for the Antichrist and the delusion that's running through much of Christianity. Thank you for watching my videos, though. The Bible tells you the Antichrist will not be a politician, but a religious leader. Christians aren't worshiping Trump. You're nothing but a democratic hack. Let me tell you something, boy. Even the devil knew the Bible backwards and forwards and tried to manipulate Jesus, and that's what you're doing. Let me tell you something else, boy. I'm an independent. I did not vote for Trump, and both the Democrats and Republicans are exceedingly wicked. You're just another expletive trying to make money on YouTube. And just for fun's sake, to humor your stupidity, if Trump is the Antichrist, you can't stop him. You know, a couple of things you're saying here are true. Both the Democrats and Republicans are exceedingly wicked. And this is why you need to get away from politics. And it's also true that if Trump is the Antichrist, I can't stop him. I'm not saying that I can stop him or Christians can stop him. In fact, the Antichrist will succeed in all that he does until the return of Jesus. It's Jesus who will stop him eventually. What a bunch of BS written by demon rats. Who the hell is Brother Paul if there is only truth be told like at Obama? Now, once again, we have the favorite curse word used by Trump supporters. And I'm sure if Trump does come up with another profanity he'd rather use, that all of these comments will then switch to that particular word. And finally, we have your knuckin' butts. <laughs> 
You need to get an education. Seriously. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for transposing those two letters. I guess that doesn't count as profanity. Uh, I guess we all need to get an education. I can tell you're being serious because you posted seriously in caps and with three explanation marks. But I would be curious as to what type of education you think I should get. Uh, do I need to go to Trump University? Well, I would, but I don't think it exists anymore. I guess what this person means is I need to really get into MAGA, learn how great Donald Trump is, learn how we should care about the things of this world. That's the type of education he's thinking about. But to be honest, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't visualize myself as walking around in a MAGA hat or spouting the same kind of juvenile nonsense that Trump does or pretending that he doesn't lie every other sentence or acting like he's not a vile man and trying to ignore how he's poisoning Christianity up and down the line and that so many Christians are becoming exactly like him. They're becoming every bit as immature using the same profanity, acting like we have to make America great again. That's all that matters. The kingdom of God is a distant, distant thought to so many of these people. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be educated in that way, Stephen. But thanks again for referring to me as Nuck and Futs. That's probably a good name for a snack cereal. You know, something with, maybe it is a name for a snack. Something with peanuts in it, pretzels, like party mix. Nuck and Futs. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough comments for today. And I'm sure in about an hour and a half, I'll be back with another episode of this. Actually, no, I'll be waiting a few days at least before we get any further into these wonderful comments. Thanks for taking the time to watch this episode, and I will talk to you guys soon.